Hotep. I am that I am. Some call me Haru, your modern monk, your cannabis fitness strategist. Back at it again here for you, for the special you, for the only you. Let's talk some deep thoughts. Let's ask some questions that will enlighten or awaken or take you to the next level in your life right now in the present moment. First of all, I'm your host with the most, Haru, the modern monk. I want to personally thank you for subscribing, for sharing with your mama, your daddy, your grandma, your grandpa, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever friend, child, whatever it may be. They will get some value within this podcast show, within these particular words that I spit (laughs) from the from the mouth, from the valves, from the deep of the the gut. <laughs> so, with episode five three, I call it Finn. <laughs> episode five three. This is titled Finn F I N N. And shout out to your fan for reaching out to me via text. And this podcast show. Is directed on your particular text, what you sent me uh, via text. <laughs> so shout out to you. Thank you for subscribing to the show, tuning in, listening to what we have to offer here at the 411 Calisthetic Lifestyle. You are the gym because you are the gym. I'm not just a brand, but I am the highest client or the biggest client. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also a client. So you are the gym is always coming with some some I think more facts <clears throat> to talk about these rumors that we have been digesting in the last, you know, 30 to 60 months <laughs> or 30 to 60 days. <laughs> but let's go deeper, Finn. So I'm going to read Finn's text to you via from the, the the cell phone text message. And we're going to dig a little deeper into what he's asking and what he's actually presenting, presenting not just to me, but just to my experiences, to my um, my thinking, my way of thinking, not saying it's all me, but certain things that you can kind of interpret it so. Episode 5, 3, you diving in. Finn, thank you again for subscribing. Thank you for um, what you have been able to do, bringing that energy. And as we focus on you right now, and we're going to talk a little bit about what you're asking about and kind of get some more clarity on which way to go, even though you are your uniqueness. Finn is unique within himself. So I'm going to read now. Hello, 411 Calisthenics. I believe I have the right number, and I'm sorry, but I don't actually know your name. I just discovered your podcast a few days ago, and you mentioned that you like to mentor trainers. I was actually going to reach out to you later, but recently just got laid off my fitness lead position at YMCA here in Texas. I was training under the health and wellness director and was to take her place in start of 2021. When she retired, mind you that I had only received my certification for personal fitness training December 2019 and had already nailed the position that is until today, of course. Always I want to reach out to you to see if you have any advice. It seems like your experience and know the calisthenics field well. I'm a big enthusiast for body weight fitness and believe it will revolutionize the fitness industry. My goal with my clients is to create self-sufficient calisthenic enthusiasts like me. I believe that we all took a little time out of every day and spent some time working on our body's health, mental and physical, then the world would be a better place. I'm considered trying to just start up my own business but struggle with some self-esteem stuff. I have a wife and a kid and so so it's a grind. 
I plan on working at a daily job and starting business on the side. I have a couple clients already who left the gym with me, so that's good. I guess I'm more wanting to know if there is anyone who can relate with me in some way, and also may I have some advice for which steps may help me may help my hurt to take in my pursuits. My end goal is to open a gym that is kind of like a playground for adults where people can have fun and work out at the same time. I'm tired of the boring work weight room gyms full of people doing impractical exercises. Please, if you don't have the time for this shit, just let go to the wind. Let it go to the wind, and I would understand. With that said, I hope to hear from you at some point. Maybe we can find ways to collaborate, even if that's in just calisthenic talk and stuff. Thanks, Finn. Now, appreciate you, Finn, for reaching out. And taking the time and having the courage to reach out. That's another thing I think a lot of people don't really realize. Having the courage just to take the steps to do what it takes. Like I'm working on, um, currently I'm working on reaching out to Robert Cox. A book he wrote called The Pillar of, um, now I can't even talk. (laughs) Of, uh, I can't even, I can't even, uh, recall the, (laughs) <laughs> the name of the book, but Robert Cox, he had wrote these books. He wrote like three books out there and it's been around for a few years too. His book's been around for a few years and um reaching out to him and just doing it. You know what I'm saying? Just r- taking the time and just do it. Don't take me wrong. Do your due diligence, do your homework, do your research. That's always one of the things we want to push here. Now let's dig deep in what Finn was actually talking about here and like I said I appreciate you Finn for reaching out for doing the things and doing your due diligence and listen in tune it in to you know what is being said and done because the action speaks louder than words right so that's another thing with me in my entourage or my particular environment I'm I'm more of an active I'm pretty active. If I'm going to say something, I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. Majority of the time. Don't take me wrong, unless circumstances just get a brother all out of hurricane scenarios or some <laughs> tornado or whatever. Pause there for a second. But jumping back into what Finn was saying. So the first thing that came to mind, reading Finn's text <clears throat> and this is real too. This is no setup. This is actually real. Finn reached out to a brother. We've been corresponding already, kind of corresponding on some things and kind of fulfilling. And I asked him for his permission if I can actually take this conversation online or to the public. Hence what we're doing right now in episode five three Finn, I call it. And like I said, I wanna I appreciate you for reaching out, taking the time to reaching out. And uh, respecting my time, per se. Um, And I appreciate you being uh, taking my advice. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I'm just a man, too. So take what you can, leave what you don't need, whatever the case may be. And I'm not going to be heartbroken (laughs) if you don't listen to a word I say. Uh, (laughs) I know I have had over the past, because brothers and sisters have been coming to me and speaking on certain things that I have helped them with and vice versa because we tend to take off other people's personalities too or their characteristics kind of rub off on us to an extent via good or bad and that brings me to the first point that stood out with Finn, uh, Finn's uh, text was mentorship. Now I'm a big advocate of mentorship. I always really seen this as a as a big pinpoint in like especially my career as a wrestler right and my career as a wrestler was kind of interesting because I know well I know it was interesting because it created me it created my attitude and it made me like a little guy I was a little guy but I could destroy these big dudes (laughs) Take them down, do stuff that people be like, wow, what's really going on? 
this little dude can handle. That's what got me into wrestling, literally. Even though my mentor slash dad came, he was actually in bed at the sea then in third grade, per se, right? Third grade. That's when the inception has happened. And see, and that's with the mentorship, taking the time like Brother Finn has done, taking the time and reach out. Go ask people for their experiences. What have you done? What have you, you see what I'm saying? And that's the thing I'm, I want to bring to the foe too. People, look, I'm very transparent. <laughs> and everybody who knows me, I'm very transparent. You know, and I don't try to keep nothing in because it ain't really nothing to keep in. If I want to resonate on a higher level with you, you feel what I'm saying? And people, Finn, people don't really get that, you know, yeah, you got to put your time in. There's certain things you got to put your time. You got to get them reps in. You feel me? You got to get them reps in. I'm not saying you can't do it overnight because there's a lot of people that have successful results too overnight, right? But then you're talking long jeopardy. Let's talk long jeopardy. That's what I'm talking about. Mentorship on a long jeopardy relationship where you get, you're seeing the results, you know, via, see, and this is another thing with the books, reading, fundamental, go get you some books, you know, go get you some books. I would recommend, I highly recommend, uh, Pat Rigsby's books. Um, when you, when you're talking fitness, when you're talking personal training, when you're talking actually creating a business, you know, and I've, and, and Pat probably could say it too, cause I haven't been using them like I should be using them. I really been slacking on them cause I'm part of the mastermind group of Pat Rigsby's, um, organization, the mastermind. And I mean, I haven't even been using half to not even partial of the stuff. That is available and it's, it's so powerful. Literally, it's so powerful, you know, because he's changing lives. He's got he's like the Grant Cardone in the fitness industry. You feel me? Or the Brian Tracy in the fitness industry. You know, he's one of those secrets. So that would be the first thing, getting the membership or actually getting member uh, m mentorship. Pat Rigsby, he's the first one that come to mind. Then John Goodman, Jonathan Goodman would be another guy who I would go pick up. Then one other guy, Bedros. And what these brothers have been able to do for me, just to kind of look at, okay, I went to school for marketing, but I decided I want to create a marketing firm or an agency. You feel what I'm saying? That was where my mindset was. It's not necessarily the worker bee, if that makes sense. I'm talking about setting up a, a organization, setting up a pod, setting up the environment. Here, you can prosper. Here's the tools. You feel me? That's where my mindset has been becoming, especially when it comes to like mentorship. And when I think about all my mentors, they were basically, they was very verbal. Well, my, my, I would say my pops, my mentor, you know, my father, my coach, he played a part in my life where it really was more of understanding from day one. You know, I don't think he remember when he sent me, kicked me out of class. Matter of fact, I had talked to him about that. He don't even remember it. <laughs> it was so many years ago, you know. But when you have that agitation or that irritation, especially with the mentorship, you still know how to grow and grow. And sometimes you're going to grow beyond these mentors, too. But this is one thing, Finn, I think one of the per uh, when you talk like personal trainers or fitness trainers, the one thing I don't think we get, especially when we're coming from a, a work mentality or an employment an unemployee mentality. We don't know how to make money. You feel what I'm saying? That's the, I think that's one of the first principles we got to start learning, especially if we want to create a business, especially when we know all businesses service based, right? It is you. They're buying into Finn. They're buying into Finn's character. They're buying into Finn's personality. So this is where the mentorship can come to work on yourself Build your self character. You know what I'm saying? Build your charisma. Build your courage. Build your competency. 
You know what I'm saying? These are the things the where the mentors can help you boost that or push it faster. You feel what I'm saying? Something they learned already or here, what I can share with you to build, you know, and I and I would encourage you to reach out to me too more, you know, because I know we can help each other, especially as mentorship, because you're a mentor, too. That's another thing people don't really pay attention to. That you, you're looking for a mentor, but the mentor is looking at you. He's envying you as well, not necessarily envying you, but living through you vicariously. Right. And vice versa, because there's certain things in certain manners you may go about. You may see it on another level, kind of like, you know, is, is for example, it's kind of like Dr. Dre gained Snoop. Snoop gained, you know, uh, his artist, boom, boom, boom. And then just like the second batch, when uh, Dr. Dre influenced Eminem, Eminem took it to another level. He influenced 50 cent, you see what I'm saying? And so on and so on. But you can see like success begot success when you're looking at that NWA or (laughs) Dr. Dre's lineage, if that makes sense. It's the same thing with mentorship. It's the same thing about building upon the opportunities that already exist, especially within this new culture we're being created, because this is the golden age, right? So the next element, if you if you with me on that, the mentorship. So three names I want you to go check out. Pat Rigsby. Pat Rigsby, Jonathan Goodman and Bedros Kalilian Kalilian. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. Bedros Kalilian, you know, and he's been around for a while and all these guys have been around for a minute, you know. I've been following Pat and uh, Bedros for many years since woo, o- over 10 years now. And it's been over 10 years. Quiet's have kept how fast time really, truly fly. So that's for your mentorship. And you can always reach out to me, brother. Like I got ebooks. I got all that stuff. <laughs> you feel me? So if you in, you know, you you want to take the time I got their their books. I got their direct information, too, as well, as far as connecting with them, because I have used most of their products. Matter of fact, their products have been most of my foundational uh, building blocks, even from the podcast show, because I think the podcast show in, influence more people than my YouTube channel. Keep it real with you. You know what I'm saying? But that's something to think about on mentorship. And I can send you some books or whatever. Shoot me an email, whatever the case may be, and we can go from there. We can even talk, get you on the show. You feel me? So the next step is what Rich, what was reaching out with me, what he was speaking on to me within this text was calisthenics. Now, calisthenics has been a very, a very big passion of mine when it comes to like body weight exercises. But when it comes, the main thing with calisthenics is the basics. Everybody keep coming out here with all this crazy push-up stuff and <laughs> crazy pull-ups and all these other things. If you got the basics down, you know what I'm saying? You did you doing at least 10 and what I mean by that, I'm saying 10 or more, 10 plus reps per any uh exercise. You you got the basics down. You feel me? Because, see, we're making things so so complicated. These are issues that we should be already masters of before we even go look at a gym. You feel what I'm saying? Before you even go look at a gym with the weights and this and that. I mean, you got to be, look, well, keep it real. You got to be on my level (laughs) to be able to understand, okay, how do I use the weights within my practice? You feel me within my calisthenics progressions or regressions, however you want to look at it. But calisthenics have more of a more of a foundation than any of these types of uh, um, ran down CrossFit and all this other crazy new stuff they've been putting in. Even when you're talking like the Peloton and all that stuff, calisthenics should be basics. That should be your foundation off everything. 
you know, and I'm not here to ah, put calisthenics down your throat, but it's kind of interesting how you can get people in there can bench press 315 pounds, but can't do one pull up. <laughs> that is crazy. And you talking about even lifting their body weight or whatever the case may be. Give me just one. You know, I mean, you got people breaking records, this and that. Okay, that's good. But w let's put it in practical. That's another thing we don't really think about. Calisthenics is functional. It's a functional type of movement, mobility, having the basics down, getting the understanding. This is where uh, I know Hit Richards, shout out to you, respect. I know we differ on this. I rather have rings in my practice as well. To develop other muscles within my arms, upper body, upper torso, uh, you know, lower abs and all that other aspects that's activated during <laughs> your ring work or your gymnastics rings. You feel me? So that's where the functional calisthenics fitness training co model comes in. You are the gym. Yes. Go go purchase some shirts. This is where my <laughs> commercial comes in. Fit. Go pick up 30 shirts right now. You are the gym, the black ones and the white ones. And we got it all for you. Every size you may need, come on and pick it up. We guaranteed. <laughs> no, it's all love. It's all love. But functional calisthenics, fitness training, I want to thank you for subscribing right now. Thank you. Put that thumbs up, too. I, Cause I know you, you know, I got some stuff over here at <laughs> YouTube too. So just check it out. You are the gym. And as well, y'all know y'all tuning in to the 411 Calisthenic Lifestyle Podcast. Y'all know that, right? So we talk about a variety of subjects, but at the same time, we want to kind of trigger the minds, trigger the thoughts, go deep and have special guests like this brother Finn texting me up. Uh, Allowing me to go deeper and deeper into the subject matters at hand. So he's talking about maximizing his fitness professional experiences. You feel what I'm saying? And I want to be able to help create that self-sufficiency as you were speaking on. And that's the other section we're going to talk about. The self-sufficiency. Now, Finn, you talk in my language, brother. Self-sufficiency. Yes, I'm working a part-time job, well, full-time job as well. I work at Home Depot. Those of you who didn't know, cool. Now you know. You feel me? But I do personal training and I've been doing, I've been picking up my clientele too as well. I've been gaining a lot more clientele, especially with the time that has been delegated now as far as being at that job at the Home Depot. Not saying my personal trainer is not a job. It's a job. <laughs> Trust me, because you're working with other people's personalities, you're working with emotions, you're working with, you know, and it's kind of, that's the thing I don't think we talk about either in the fitness industry. We really don't talk about people's, uh, well, people's emotions, you know, how they feel in certain things and, you know, are you feeling like you're actually gaining, you know what I'm saying? Are you gaining results, you know, because see, the, the point, what I want to give or influence within my particular clients, I want them to be influenced to train on their own. Take, take more responsibility. Take responsibility. Take accountability. Take the time to put, put in for you because that's basically what you're doing. You're putting time in for you. Your body will feel better. You know what I'm saying? Your mind will be clearer. You will feel better. You'll feel more energized. You know, and people see that. That's another thing. People see that. That's where that self-sufficiency comes in. You feel what I'm saying? Self-sufficiency, the discipline, the persistence, the consistency. You feel what I'm saying? This is what you want to create. Get building upon the reps as you get better. And see, and this goes back up to calisthenics. This goes back up to the mentorship. You feel what I'm saying, Finn? So you talking about self-esteem. That's what you was talking about building more. You know what I'm saying? Having more self-esteem. I'm lacking on self-esteem, something you use, you know. Yeah, I'm struggling, but I'm struggling with some self-esteem stuff. 
Now, let me, we're going to get, get, dig a little deeper here. Um, let me just give me a, give me, give me a, 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 a little temper, temper, just, just a little temper, just a little time. I want to find something. I want to read self-esteem. I want, I want y'all to hear this particular fan, particularly you tune into this word, self-esteem, confidence in one's own worth or abilities, self-respect, similar to self-respect, self-regard, pride, faith in oneself, dignity, moral, 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 you know, now check this out, self-esteem is an individual subjective evaluation of their own worth. Self-esteem encompasses beliefs about oneself as well as emotional states such as triumph, despair, pride, and shame. Now, look, now, look how deep that is right there. <laughs> now, to think, just think about that. Now, this is where the support system comes in, Finn. This is where you start getting your support system. I'm here. I'm your support system. You reached out. I'm one of your pillars, brother. I'm here for you. Now, we have to build each other up. That's the key thing right there. That's what I'm reading from what self-esteem is talking about. You feel me? Building on each other. We got to keep each other self-motivated, regardless of what the situation is. That's what's so cool about the military uh, forces. You know what I'm saying? Because they're... (laughs) You're... You're self-motivating your partner or whoever's in that, that cubby hole with you. <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? <laughs> Those who military base, y'all know what I'm talking about. But you definitely better have faith in your that brother who's on your side or the sister who's on your side. You better have some faith in them because they supposed to be protecting you and you supposed to be protecting them. And you're going to do your best to do you feel what I'm saying? To do your due diligence, literally. And that's where self-esteem have to come from. You got to start building the blocks, putting the blocks, even with your wife, your child. You feel me? You got to allow them to build positive affirmation, positive energy for you. You feel what I'm saying? Because it keeps you moving. It keeps you going. It keeps you motivated. It keeps you in. What it, what is the word? energized <laughs> you know what I'm saying because you're living for worth you you're living for value you're creating a legacy brother you know what you just did you just created a legacy you said I'm gonna just get out here we're gonna make this happen even though I got laid off or whatever the situation may occurred you feel what I'm saying but see that's where the courage steps in You know, and I'm not saying just do anything to just get there. No, you have to do certain steps like Earl Nightingale always talk about the the strangest secret. Right. I just re-listened to that again. Powerful. (laughs) Nightingale was always on some other tip. And it's kind of interesting when I even think about that, how young I was when I actually started listening to Earl Nightingale. (laughs) You, you know, entrepreneurs are made. You know that? They are actually made. They're, they're not in no birth and then you got the, the power to do this. No, they're created. They're made. They're developed. They're seasoned. You feel me? <laughs> Self-sufficiency. Self-esteem. You know, and that's what's beautiful about books too. Beautiful about books are surrounding yourself by great mentors. It might, all through the past, you had crazy people write some crazy books too. You know, that influenced people. But it's what you take from them too. What is, what was the sister's name? Madam Belinsky. Back in the day, day. Early 1900s. They was basically in a cult. Or organization that um, talked about philosophy. Right? Philosophy, religion. You know. In that subject matters. But see, this is the point. Like I say, the mentorship, the calisthenics, or the functional calisthenic fitness training method. Self-sufficiency. 
self-esteem. And then we come to the last but not least, our clients, right? How do we relate? This is what I got out of this text. How do I relate or how do I compel that relationship to take it to the next level? This is what I've noticed. I'm pretty transparent and I'm pretty transparent with my clients as well. So I don't be bullshitting about what, you know, unbelievable results, even though they're unbelievable results when you allow them to come into your life and actually be a part of your life. You make fitness a part of your life. You feel me? It's it's just like eating. It's just like washing your ass. <laughs> Literally. You got to go do it. It's just part of you. This is how you got to live it. You got to be it. And you got to be the example. This is another thing with the people or the clientele I've been attracting. Well, personally, I've been attracting more military oriented brothers and sisters. You know, in the military, I'm out here in Honolulu, so it makes a lot of sense. You know, you got the Air Force out here. You got the, you know, well, I think every branch, I think every branch I've seen represented up in Home Depot coming up in there, (laughs) literally here in Hawaii, you know. But it's an understanding. You want to be the example. That's where the client connection comes in and being straight up with them, too. You don't have to be this fake phony person, you know, because it's, it's all about re- it's all really about being genuine. And if you're passionate about or if you into this particular field and it's not about the money, even though it's about the money, you, you, you tend to attract the goodness. Literally, you tend to start attracting the right type of client for you, you know, and and you can do all the. The marketing and all the sales and all that stuff. But one one thing I think what I've been really kind of <laughs> grasping really is like, okay, when I don't focus on my marketing and this and that, I'm actually attracting certain, well, I'm attracting a type of person that is actually, well, they're interested in you, right? And whatever that is, that personality trait, they want it. They want it, if that makes sense. (laughs) They want it. That's why I'm saying being the example is always, you know, I, I can't stand when I see fat trainers and they're telling you how to lose weight or even even powerlifting. I never understood that. I'm like. Here you are. You can tell who's a power lifter. Don't get it twisted. But but it's some people who are just nah. You're you're out of shape. You're just <laughs> you don't need to be there, sir. Because <laughs> it is a difference. Let's 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 ask the question, Finn. This is the questions. We got to ask the questions. How do we become better? How do we become more effective? How do we? Add more value to that self-sufficient client or customer or fellow personal trainer, you know, or fellow business partner. You feel me? These are the things that we need to be really negotiating and talking about because I know that's what, you know, Jeff Bezos and, you know, uh, Elon Musk, they talking about. That's all they be talking about business. And it is not even about business. They talking about self-esteem. They talking about motivation. They talking about influence. I just got off a call. This was a few hours ago with a good friend of mine, my brother, Abdul. You know what I'm saying? And he was telling me some things that, you know, you don't really know who you touch until they actually explain it to you. Or, you know, this is what was cool about Finn. You reaching out, you know, not... I mean, you got people reaching out via email, but straight not texting you. Now, that's actually kind of cool, <laughs> you know, because people you don't even know across the country, across the world. I mean, I was looking at the the algorithms. I'm reaching people in places I never even thought I'd be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> my uh, email or my particular marketing with my podcast is in all kinds of places. 
a friend just pulled up my uh, feed off in another podcast show um, feed app. I didn't even know I was available there. But see, this is the power of self-esteem, reaching out, being being the you, doing you, improving you. Manifesting all the concepts and principles that we read on on a daily basis. That's why the Think and Grow Rich is important. You feel me? We don't really give it no praise until we actually manifest the Think and Grow Rich concept. Or what Napoleon Hill was actually expressing within that book. And that's another book I would advise you to pick up or suggest you to pick up and read. And read it about 80 times. <laughs> I've been reading that book since high school. And I, ma- I made it one of my books that I read yearly. That should tell you something. And most people, most of your successful high-end brothers and sisters would... Attest to that. Think and Grow Rich, I think, is one of the most powerful books out there. At the same time, you got to utilize what the information is giving you. Like I said, we're already in the golden age. We just got to act golden. Instead of allowing the sheep to take over within us. (laughs) Episode 5-3, Finn. Shout out to you, brother, once again. Thank you for reaching out. Thank you for um, taking the time to tune in. You know, like I said, mentorship, calisthenics, self-sufficiency, self-esteem, clients, and being the example. This is what stood out. Now, if I haven't covered what you particularly was mentioning, please let me know. Via text or whatever, however you want to get in touch with a brother. Now you, you got to direct connect, connect with me. Let's chop it up. Let's talk. I'd like to get you on a show. Talk about some of the things. Maybe, you know, YMCA. <laughs> what made you go there? That's, you know, that, that would have been my, um, that's a little, because that is a very unique situation too. Because it's a totally different ball game from uh, 24-hour fitness or crush fitness or whatever these newer models out here planet fitness and all these other crazy models that's making money but at the same time don't have no commitment Uh oh yes no commitment and finn that's what i would advise or suggest too be committed brother be committed Take the time to be a well-rounded man. You know, take the time to be a well-rounded man. Get your relationship game down. You know what I'm saying? You a father. Handle your business. You know, I'm not sitting up here saying I'm qualified for that side of it because I'm not. (laughs) I'll be the first one to say that. But at the same time, I do understand people. You feel what I'm saying? I do understand If we use our minds, we can be a lot more successful. You know that? If we use our minds, we use our thinking, we can be a lot more successful. Start thinking about what we're actually engaging into, you know, therefore adding more value on a daily ritual. Listen to a book. You feel me? You'd be amazed of the information that is actually calculating in your brain <laughs> or in your consciousness. And that's another story. But I appreciate you, Finn. Thank you again. And hopefully I answered some of the questions you had, particularly on some of these subject matters that stood out to me what I was reading. And I read membership or mentorship, calisthenics, self-sufficiency, self-esteem, and being the example for your clients. That was kind of my little take on things. Because I know you had taken the time to influence a couple clients to come with you. That is actually powerful right there. That sound like a show me the money. 
<laughs> tactic. But other than that, brother, you have a great one. Stay strong wherever you are. Much love. Thank you again for tuning in. And I want to thank all my listeners for tuning in to subscribing. Please send this over to you, mama, daddy, grandma, grandpa, whoever you want to call it, girlfriend, boyfriend, them folks, these folks, whatever the case may be, handy your business. If you getting value from this, literally, if you getting value, if you gain in anything to trigger that mindset and that brother's voice, yeah, that brother's voice, that Haru, the modern monk, got that voice that cultivates, that get an understanding, that gets up under your skin on a good level <laughs> or maybe a bad level too. <laughs> To get you, put that fire up under that ass. Shout out to y'all. Much love. And I'm out. Peace. 5-3. This one's for you, Finn. We out.